suppose that we have a house. That house consists of four rooms. We'll call them room 1, room 2, room 3, and room 4. And suppose that there are three people inside the house. Let's call them person A, person B, and person C. Person A and person C are in room 2, while person B is in room 3. We can represent that in the following way. We'll draw a set that contains people A, B, and C, and another set that contains rooms 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we'll draw an arrow from each person to the corresponding room. Person A is in room 2, person B is in room 3, and person C is in room 2. And with this, we actually represented one function. That function maps the set of people A, B, and C into the set of rooms 1, 2, 3, and 4. Note that for every person, there is exactly one room, but not in every room is one person. For instance, rooms 1 and 4 are empty, while in room 2 are two people. So, this is a function. But this example can also illustrate what isn't a function. This is not a function because it doesn't tell us in which room is person A. This is also not a function because it would mean that person A is both in room 1 and in room 2. And in a nutshell, that is a function. We can replace the set of people and the set of rooms with some other two sets and if we apply these rules, we'll get a function. But we'll leave that for another video. That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.